steeped in him crucified. You say sin too many times. Don't say sin at all. Just don't say sin at all. Just do not say the word sin and just keep. All have sinned. Today, can I tell you that God has already richly blessed you and given you a light. He has given you an opportunity to know Him. But you're falling away from Him. You're going the wrong way. You're a sinner and you have sinned against God and you're still sinning against God. You need to turn. You need to change direction. You need to stop going the way that you're going. And you need to take an account of your sin against the Holy God. You know, Hosea can also speak about a God who is just, and a God who is holy, and a God who is righteous. And can I tell you today, dear friend, that while you are a sinner, with a wicked heart, God says, God is holy, God is just, God is absolutely perfect. He doesn't no, have to answer no, to no, any man. God, he doesn't have to answer to you. No, God is asking you to no. turn back to Him. Are you going to turn back to God, dear friends? You need to turn back to God. Today, can I tell you, dear friends, that there is coming a day when God will silence all those who challenge Him. I'm going to preach, going to preach a message from the Bible, Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7, it says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man sows, that he will reap. Well, I'll read it again, we're preaching today to you from the Bible. If you like your own copy of the Bible, we're giving them away for free. Galatians 6 and verse 7, it says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that also shall he reap. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law that we broke. Being made a curse for us, for God poured out upon him the judgment, the fiery judgment of God for sin was poured out upon Christ. And when the sin, when the sin question was answered, he said it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the spirit. Hey, you see this spirit? Yeah. She said Satan is us coming from us. We represent a God of love. We don't pour out hate. You are a hater. You better than Jesus. You want to take our people off your right away? You are a friend, people. You should not be here. Well, I'm not sure what she's talking about, friend. And we represent a God who loves you so much that he was willing to give his son to suffer sin's fiery judgment that you might be forgiven. This poor woman, friend, and I don't want to just single her out. I want to see anyone on the street of Toronto. The God of heaven can forgive sins on one basis, and it's not the works of man. It's not putting sin under the rug. Authority on which God can forgive sins is the blood of the Son of God that was shed on Calvary for sinners. For guilty people that were bound by sin, doomed by sin, lost in their guilt, heading to that awful place called hell. The Lord Jesus Christ recognized the ruined state of mankind and he came to this earth out of love, out of grace. And a young man, the Lord Jesus Christ, gave his life for wicked individuals, people that did not want it, people that did not want it. Those words of, of, of Romans 5 and 8 again, but God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, 
Christ died for us. Did him crucify. You say sin too many times. Don't say sin at all. Just don't say sin at all. It's not a anymore. That's why we're all going to hell. Don't, 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 don't worry about hell. Don't worry about the word Bible. sin. No, well, so you're saying God we should so not worry world, about, about hell. See, this guy is. Well, he's he's not not you, you don't have to use the word sin. Just preach and don't say the word sin anymore. You don't say sin anymore. Just don't use the word sin. Just don't use the word sin. See the word sin? Just don't use the word sin. Buddy, you've said sin more times than we have now. Because that's how annoying it is. Just do not say the word sin and just keep... All have seen it. We're not against anyone that's here today. We're not here for political reasons. We're here because we're all for you. And we're here to tell you that God is all for you. And that God wants you to be saved. God doesn't want to see you go down to hell. But if you reject the gift of God, that's the one place you'll go. But if you reject the provision that God has made in the sending of His own Son, the only begotten Son in the bosom of the Father, the one that's been with God for all of eternity, is the one that came down. It's the one that we've done. You must admit that you've done wrong. You must admit that you've sinned against God. If you've ever lied, if you've ever stolen, if you've ever taken God's name in vain, the Bible says that we've sinned. And if we've sinned, therefore we need to be saved from our sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. be saved now. So when I realize, you can take a Bible if you want. So when you see the gift of God, when people realize their need of sin, they recognize their need to be saved. They recognize their eternal fate in that terrible place called hell. And they refuse God's only way of salvation. They condemn themselves before God. They prove themselves to be guilty. And if you trust in Him, you can say like this man Paul, For I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day, the day of wrath. My friend, you'll never have to see the judgment of God if you simply trust the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll have everlasting life and you'll be saved from your sins. May God bless his word. Good. Thank you, friend. <laughs> so, dear friend, come to the Lord Jesus. He says, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Have you come to the Lord Jesus? Have you ever thanked him for dying for your sins on the cross? Religion won't get you into heaven. Your good works won't get you into heaven. Your prayers, your baptism, your giving to charity, that won't take you to heaven. Sin has separated you and I from a holy and righteous God. But there's one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all. And he loves you, dear friend.